number five, Orson Allen, set to go. Sandbound for the free-for-all, stand by. Away and racing, and Orson Allen commenced brilliantly from the centre of the line, and the big boys go to zip across and lead by a length and a half pants on fire, Circle of Dreams, and then Venn's Revenge. A break to well back Notorious Mac and check to last Baru Gabret down the back. Orson Allen scoots away, led it by five lengths, Circle of Dreams, pants on fire, then Venn's Revenge. Three lengths, Notorious Mac, and a similar margin, Baruga Brett, but Orson Allen, well, he's got all guns ablazing tonight. Five or six to Circle of Dreams, and Orson Allen, a terrific winner. Won it by five lengths to Circle of Dreams. Third, Venn's Revenge finding the line, then Pants on Fire. Well back, Notorious Mac, and last in, Baruga Brett, and the run is an outstanding 29 and 20. On a track that probably hasn't played overly fast tonight with a little breeze about. Number five, the winner. And he came out charging from the yellow. Straight onto the rail to lead them up. 504-1868. And it's 29 and 20 to run. Number five, Orson Allen, the winner. Prepared by Brendan Wheeler for Corey Grenfell. Number five, first, Casey and all to Sally Bale. Defeats the four second, that circle of dreams. Bas Chabal, Mapungamia, Angela Langton, the Champagne Partners. She's put together an outstanding CV to date. 15 starts for 10 wins. And heading up towards a quarter of a million stakes earnings. There's no doubt she'll come back for a sapphire crown tilt next week. Number one was third, Venn's Revenge for Joey Clark. Bas Chabal crowns a chanting. M. Donovan, the owner of the third place.